Hi, this is Kalvi Rana from Logistics Insider and with me is Mr. Eric Ten Kate. He's Global Sector Leader, Healthcare for Saber Logistics. Uh, welcome to CCUB 2024. Thank you. And hope you've had a lovely day so far. So far, sir. Yeah. Okay. So um, let's write, uh, get into the question and answer. So my first question is going to be around uh, data and analytics. So uh, what role do both of these play in refining the cold chain packaging uh, strategies that you offer to your clients? Data, of course, is knowledge. Uh, without data, you have nothing. Uh, we analyze the data from an uh, origin to, uh, to destination perspective. Uh, we see where things are going. Uh, based on that, with the customer data and their requirements, we look at, okay, where do we optimize the mm -hmm. packaging material? We talk about circular economy. Yeah. How do we reduce that footprint? Mm -hmm. um, yeah, the end-to-end -end visibility is becoming more and more important. It's more uh, standard in healthcare than just a nice-to-have, where it used yeah. to be before. Mm -hmm. um, with that data, we can convince customers to build solutions. And you're not only serve provider based on price, but also on making a difference and adding your value. Yeah, well, I think adding value is the key. Yeah. Uh, so moving on, uh, you know, sustainability is no more just the buzzword. It is actually becoming the core of each and every uh, company, especially in logistics operations, because the customer is now demanding sustainability. Yeah. So my next question is going to be around that. What are the initiatives that you're taking to, uh, you know, really get in, uh, to embed sustainability in the core of your organization when you're offering uh, services to your clients? Yeah, it's, the easy answer would be sustainable aviation fuel. But yeah. um, like I said, that's the easy answer. Mm -hmm. uh, we need to drive that together with our customers. They have certain targets, uh, even into green bonds. So they need to deliver, we need to deliver. Um, we work with them on alternative solutions. So the easy part is to shift from air to ocean, yeah. um, but you can't always do that. Mm -hmm. So we need to look at alternative ways of shipping, alternative ways of packaging, uh, phase change, change material, or as we call it in the circular economy, eliminate the waste. And nobody wants their name in the box in the land dump somewhere. Mm -hmm. um, plus, the phase change material also allows for um, lower weight, um, allowing um, lesser emissions. And that's in the end mm -hmm. all the uh, all what matters, or what we're working on together with the customers. Yeah, true. Um, so, coming to my last question, how does your participation in CCUB um, help your company stay ahead of industry trends and advancements? It's all about knowledge exchange. And what we see here is like a really a collaborative approach where all parties come together, all parties in the supply chain, the shippers themselves. Um, and everybody talks about buzzwords, right? But yeah. you also get the opportunity to talk with subject matter experts. Um, mm -hmm. I remember from a couple of years ago when I was here, uh, there's also some tangible output coming from this. Mm -hmm. And that's the beauty of this event. It's a bit like uh, speed dating yeah. uh, with all the stakeholders in a very, very short time frame. Also for, for us and our organization, it's very valuable. Yeah. Well, thank you for your time. We hope to see you in the coming editions as well. And hope you have a lovely rest of the day. Thank you. You too. Thank you.